A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. This one feels important. This is your blacksmith's story, isn't it? His girl was the key. And he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. I opened that box seeking the means to kill Ares. And what I released... Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Thanks again for that. Quiet, Ed. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. Kratos, how well did you know the blacksmith's daughter? Pandora. She reminded me of my own daughter, who I lost long ago. I'm sorry. Even at your most vengeful, you must not have wanted to see harm come to her. Pandora was innocent. The way she saw things, she could reach me when few could. She deserved better than to be a pawn, sacrificed in a game of gods. Your regret is palpable. But thank you for letting yourself remember. That is important. I'm back to brighten your day. <laughs> All your righteous haranguing about how evil the gods are, and you somehow gloss over that little extra nudge you gave them. Opening the box was Athena's plan. I did not know the consequences. You would claim ignorance of the consequences of trusting Athena? Is that your idea of a joke, Kratos? Because I admit it's hilarious. But let's be real, Kratos. Whether you should have suspected the consequences or not, you certainly can't claim that you would have cared about them. You wanted the power to kill Ares. And because you wanted it, everything is justified. That's your moral code at the end of the day, isn't it? To imagine you once again holding an office of solemn metaphysical responsibility. A trusted figure. A worshipped figure. The absolute gall of you to let yourself consider such a thing. I guess irony can have you when it earns you, or something. Oh, how precious. I don't think you can be trusted to keep that safe at all.